All eyes on Alexandre Lacazette. On the back of a hat-trick, will he continue to excel? The action is live on EA TV. And welcome to a city that's had plenty to shout about on the football front in recent years. We're in Lyon here in East Central France. I'm Derek Ray and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And only four teams are left in this cup competition. We're at the semi-final stage. It is Olympic Lyonnais and they face Hamburg. Well, Derek, it's said that semi-finals are the best games to win and the worst to lose. And while the hosts are clear favourites, I still think this will be a great cup tie. Full of individual battles, passion and a lot of skill. And here's the starting eleven for Lyon. Well, it's a 4-3-3 formation with a centre-forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. And here's a look at the starting 11 for Hamburg. Well, they're also playing in a 4-3-3 formation, but they play it in a slightly different way, particularly in the wide areas, where their fullbacks will get forward and rotate with the wingers at every opportunity. This really should be a game to savour. Olympic Lyonnais get the match started. Corner given. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, it has come to nothing. Kakere. And still trying to get the shot off. And Lacazette. And able to get a body in the way. Race. Well, the defenders will certainly have done their homework, Stuart, and on that basis, must keep more than a weather eye on Lacazette. Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat, and when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. Maxence Kakere. And he has options available but really sticking to the task defensively. And the referee's verdict is penalty kick. And when it rains, it pours. Red card it is. Well, what a dramatic start to the game. That's such a big call by the referee. This to make it 1-0. And the keeper denies them from the spot. Well, they've decided to make a change. Short corner taken. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in.
He has time to play it over. Well, space if he goes inside. Looking for the angle. Kakere. Under pressure. Doesn't seem to be bothering him. In possession to give them the lead, maybe. And he thought of the attack with a masterful tackle. Jean-Luc Dompe Diara. Mefert. Race. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Sean Lau. Might be onto something with that ball. Now well, they've given him too much space. And crossed in there. Benish. Can he finish? And blocked for now. And that was a very fine read. Mefert. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Can he take advantage? And a goal! The opener in the semi-final. First goal of the contest. Well, here it is again. It was a good finish, but the keeper has to do better at his near post. He was beaten far too easily on that occasion. One nil then. Kakere. Intelligent threaded pass here. Well, nothing comes of it in the end because the flag has gone up, Stuart. Well, he knew where the space was, but he's just been too eager, and that's why he's offside. Race. Can they take advantage? Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Who can they pick out? Well, it still could be dangerous. Splendid defending. Read it superbly to take back possession. That's a good-looking ball. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Lacazette and he's made headway and the post gets in the way not to be well Hamburg have found it difficult to control the flow of the game so far but what they've done with it has been really good and they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment they love to play on the counter-attack Using space on the opposite flank now. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Moritz Haier. An alert intervention. Great chance to make it a brace. But the keeper had his say. Well, he has to get a second goal soon. He's been brilliant today. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, as a defender, that will suit you down to the ground. Brace. Now he must favour the cross. So a corner here.
delivering it not out of the woods yet Benesh good bit of pressing was always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball the referee knew that was foul play but advantage it is Lacazette and with that the attack fizzles out well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Surely! And missing the chance to give them a bit of breathing space. Well, that should have made it more comfortable, shouldn't it? But it's a wasted opportunity. And so, half-time, that will do it for the first half here in Budapest. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Getting the better of his opponent. Crossing possibilities. No way through. Electing to cross into the centre. Defended well. And very deftly cut out. Good looking sequence. Now the keeper grabs it. Tagliafico Tolisso Kakere Still behind but the pressure mounting Opportunity to deliver the cross And a chance to level it and he struck the post. And well, they survived the attack. Well, they were so close to the equaliser there. They're certainly a bit unlucky, but they need to make more of these chances. Jean-Luc Dompey Diara. And the keeper more than equal to the task. And a very good challenge. Sean Lau and the emphasis is on creativity now well, let's see about the cross making sure nothing came of it racing forward trying to catch them out there to take it away Benesh Giving it a try, able to get a... Body in the way. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Shot attempted, 
Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. And a short corner, let's see. Behind for another corner, can they cash in? Well, just listen to the fans. They know this is a big chance here. Now sending it in. Corner again. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Delivering it. Not the best clearance. Another corner conceded. What can they do with this one? Played over. And he clears the danger. got to keep the ball a bit better than that can they create something from here and the goalkeeper expertly anticipated that through ball Now in the dying embers of the game, it looks as though the visitors have done enough. Stuart, your assessment? Well, they need to hold on here. Not long left now, but you have to say they've defended really well up to this point. And I just can't see them conceding now. This will be a really good win if it stays like this. Teammates in the middle. Well cleared away. Sean now. Just 10 minutes remaining here. Benesh. That's excellent defending following the cross. Substitution time it is here. And there's the delivery. Benesh. Can he finish them off? What an important piece of defending. And a textbook interception. Five minutes left. They're showing a willingness to attack as they must. Given the circumstances, time running out. Maxence Kakere. Back to Dembele. Given away by Olympic Lyonnais. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Good looking cross. Will it happen this time? Excellent save. Well, you're absolutely right. It's a top quality save, but they're running out of time here. Going short. East whistle and it is official now the visitors are on their way to the final well it was far from easy at times they'll certainly know they've been in a match today but these are the sort of games you have to get through if you want to win silverware they've done that and now they can turn their attention to that final what a game that should be
Well, he put in a really thorough performance here, Stuart. Yeah, he gave those defenders a difficult time. He got the all-important goal and created plenty of chances too. He certainly... Said that semi-finals are the best games to win and the worst to lose and while the hosts are clear favorites i still think this will be a great cup tie full of individual battles passion and a lot of skill so the initial 11 for the home side well it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today will they stay high and wide Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. And the contest begins. Henrik Dalsgaard. 
Anderson. Can they create something from here? And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Petar Slišković. Ali. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, we know he's a good all-round player, but his strength is when balls are rolled into him. He can hold up the play, he can roll defenders, he can get away from them, and that's key to the way his team want to play. When they get the ball into him, that's when they're at their strongest. Martinez with it. Anderson. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw in. Olsen and space to cross it. Well, nothing comes of it. Gives it a go. And a goal! The opener in the semi final. First goal of the contest. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. He skips past his marker, and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Giving it a try. And he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. Now how about the short corner? Good strength to keep the ball. And it wasn't taxing for the keeper. Olsen. And back with Martinez. A danger here as he runs at them. Crossed into the penalty area. Well, that's the end of that for now. Abdenasser El Kayati. And a good looking ball. Straight forward for the keeper. Olsen. Anderson. Oh, he's given us away. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Olsen. Passes like that, very much in his repertoire. Crossing possibilities. Now he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Intercepting it intelligently.
So almost at half time, and they are making good use of home advantage. Still a bit of work to do, though. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen? Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo, and this lead could easily slip away. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. And he's got a score to level us again. Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they come, though. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. Olsen. Well, as you can see, the hosts have really dictated the play. But with the talent they have on show here, the lack of quality in the attacking third has been a real disappointment. They need to play with more urgency to win this one. Yes, it's a matter of trying to break them down. Has a go. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Delivering it. Simple save, really. And he couldn't quite get himself back on side, Stuart. Well, as a player, you need to be able to change your mind. But he wasn't able to, and that's a poor pass. And that was a very fine read. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. And teammates to play it to. Shown inside. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. to the second half then and these two sides are locked together just can't really choose between them at the moment Henrik Dalsgaard Anderson. Olsen, now Martinez, and they need to get tighter here, will this corner bear fruit for them, well they are committed to making the substitution here, Trying to deliver it accurately. And he's fired it against the post. It might still be problematic. Well, that was a bit unlucky. Because you just get the feeling they need to make the most of one of these chances. Could be. And a goal! How important could that be in the story of this semi-final? Wild celebrations! Well, here it is again. What a ball that is over the top of the defence. It's weighted perfectly, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. So there we have it. 2-1. Just the challenge that was required.
Henrik Dalsgaard. It's with Martinez. That's useful play. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. But no discernible advantage. And quite rightly, free kick awarded. But it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. Well, they've decided to make a change. And a tidy tackle. Now, options are plenty. Oh, big chance! In it goes! It just gets better and better for them. Another goal, and they can truly dream of the final now. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Oh, managing to beat him. Taking care of business defensively here. Well, no surprise there. The hosts have enjoyed most of the possession and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. And back now with Martinez. Spraying passes around, almost waiting for the opposition to make a mistake. He'll have a go here. Well, misfiring without any shadow of a doubt. Time for a change then. an effective clearance well the perfect tackle really and now a throw in a corner will ensue Can someone get on the end of this? And a good take under duress there. And room now out on the wing. Delivering it into the box. Not really the ideal clearance. Being egged on by the crowd. Oh, it's a wild, wild finish. It's going to be a double substitution.
Ali. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Running with the ball confidently. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Anderson. And back now with Martinez. Well, it's a great advantage to any side when you're as comfortable on the ball as they are. Read it well. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved the yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Here it is now, a substitution. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that, and it was close. Well, his skill level is so high, you're absolutely right. That's a great effort on the volley. Sorensen, another referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Has a go! Nicely saved. And he's going to go back and issue a caution here. Well, the referee wasn't going to forget that, was he? And now the delivery. Well, it's a moment he would like to have back, if possible. And a timely intervention. Anderson. Options in the middle. That's well blocked. Oh dear, not really troubling the goalkeeper at all, Stuart. Well, from that range, he should be scoring, and he knows it. Falu Dianya read it superbly to take back possession. And that puts them in position. There it is! Victory more or less guaranteed now. Well, here we can see it again. And it starts with the ball over the top. Perfectly weighted. And he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. Well, not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. So the home fans are thrilled because they can now book their tickets for the final. Well, what a display that was. Their attacking play was breathtaking at times and they completely dominated in midfield, which then allowed the fullbacks to get forward to great effect. They'll surely be favourites going into the final. Well, he caught the eye at times in this particular match, didn't he, Stuart? Well, I would say he was average today, but he can't be at his best every week. He just did a good job for the team.
grown up.